Hello, and welcome back to Cardboard Decoy Plays Magicite. I almost said Magicka, but that's another game I want to play for another time. Either way. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go into this swamp here. And see what we can see, basically. Oh, you know what? Let's try to kill this guy with a bow. I bet this is going to work out real well. Oh, we're going to hit the wall there on that one. Yeah! Totally awesome. Okay, I'm kind of digging the bow. Not not quite the feel I would uh, find to be like super ideal, but it works. It works really well, and it's just a matter of getting used to it at this point, I figure. So, cool. We've got a really good pick. We've got a really good sword. We've got a bow, which is, I mean, pretty obligatorily awesome. And, uh, you know, stone arrows, which will work. So, okay. We're trying to dodge. Things are getting a little, getting a little crowded in here. Okay, there we go. We got projectiles every which way. All right, and then rather than waste arrows, how about we just do that? That's totally fine too. So yeah, we got ore, more rocks, all good stuff. And hopefully we can start seeing some of the crazier ores here before too long. Is this harvestable? It is, that's where you get your herbs and your mushrooms. Good, good. Okay, let's do that. And there we go. Everything takes two hits, which is totally fine for now as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Oh, he's going to switch direction immediately. That was kind of... Maybe maybe it's timed a little weird. I don't know. That still, like, seems not so great to me. Uh, okay. Or I could just be careful and not bad. That, that would also be probably an improvement on the whole premise altogether. We're going to kill that guy. He's dead. <clears throat> little slugs. I'm guessing it's like you get pigs in the forest and this is like the equivalent of pigs. So it's kind of cute to think about that you have these big... Well, I, okay, I'm weird for thinking that a slug would be a cute giant pet to have. Or a giant slug specifically would be kind of a cute thing to keep around as a pet and or livestock animal. But, uh, you know, that's me. That's definitely... That's, that's how I roll. I think that'd be kind of awesome. Giant slug sort of moves around going... Eating leaves. That's totally fine. I dig it. That's a cool idea. Um, let's see. All right. So we're just cruising right along here. I'm trying not to spend too much time getting fixated on this stuff, but it is really tempting to just harvest everything. Uh, oh. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with what. We don't need spider web. So. Oh, dang it, it didn't pick that up. That was a piece of coal, by the way, and uh, that's something I really wanted to have because then I could uh, actually cook my food and not poop every time that I eat, which is getting kind of old. Let's see. Whoa. And... Wow, I just destroyed his face. That was, I mean, I guess I did most of the damage with that poison there, but uh, still good stuff. Okay, we did not get diamonds. That's unfortunate. Ouch. I'm dead! I wasn't paying attention, and now I'm dead. And I got 50 points to show for it. Sigh. Okay. Let's... Whoa. That's the exact same composition, but now I'm playing again, and it started over. Okay, that's fine. That's that's totally cool. I'll, I'll play this configuration one more time and see if I can do it a little bit better now that I have a better idea of what's going on with things and go the, the, the goings-ons. Uh, I'm just going to say going on until it loses all meaning, and then I'll move on to a different word for whatever it is I'm trying to communicate there. Okay. Yeah, I keep forgetting how low hit points this game is. Like, it just, it doesn't deal in the realms of, like, Final Fantasy of millions of hit points or whatever. Actually, I, it's been so long since I played a Final Fantasy game, I figured it was only natural progression that it would eventually get to, like, the millions of hit points range. So, uh, pardon me for my ignorance there, but, uh, yeah, you know. That's that's kind of the deal. He's, I, I'm old school Final Fantasy. Like, I'm talking... The last good Final Fantasy I played was 9. And, yeah, I won't talk about 10. 10 killed it for me entirely. So, I have people who disagree very strongly with that. And uh, to you, I apologize, but I'm sticking to it. I think 10 just completely ruined the franchise. So, oh, okay. Let's go ahead and just do that. Okay. All right. Good to go. Uh, oh, I still need a pickaxe. Okay, that should be easy enough to concoct. Definitely high priority, though. Oh, no, no, this is fine. I'm like, oh, I don't have any wood. What am I going to do if I don't... Oh, wait, there's freaking wood all over the place. Like, literally everywhere. There is not a place that exists that doesn't have wood. 
in this particular game. Let's go ahead and... At least not to my knowledge. I haven't made it that far. I could be totally wrong. Okay, let's see. At least to the raw omnipotence of the wood's presence here. Okay, cool. Now, this would be gold if we had anything other than a wood pick. But, you know, whatever. Spilled milk and all that. Let's keep going here. Uh, that is a beehive. I'm wondering if I actually want to try to challenge that beehive. I'm tempted. I'm real tempted. To be totally honest. Okay, let's see how this fight with this bee goes. That's three, four, five hits. Five hits is pretty bad. To be totally honest, I don't like it. So we're going to skip that beehive for now until we get better weapons. Okay. I like kind of the uh, the enemy disparity or the en enemy spread in this game. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that I can actually dash as well, which is probably handy. I haven't really thought of a particular use for it just yet though. Or I haven't been in a situation where I was like, man, I really wish I had dashed. It's funny, after just recording uh, a bunch of Rogue Legacy episodes where I basically said the same thing. Maybe I'm just bad at dashing, but uh, I think really it's one of those like, if it's not, if it doesn't make you move faster, like actually like make it viable so that you can run doing it all the time, then you almost totally ignore it, right? Like most dash mechanics are just kind of like, uh, very specific to combat. Like take for instance, uh... Dark Souls. Dark Souls, if you don't dash, like, do kind of the double tap dash or, you know, sort of a little dash move around, you're just going to die and have a terrible time and never be good at that game. Um, but, again, in Rogue Legacy, Rogue Legacy, it's situational. There's puzzles that you need to use dash to figure it out. And then there's this game where I haven't determined where this game lies on the spectrum just yet. Like, so far, haven't really needed to dash a whole lot. Nothing's really stuck out to me as, like, my gameplay experience would be so much improved upon if I had just dashed at certain points in time or made more use of the dash function. So it's kind of one of those like, hmm, okay, whatever, you know, take her to leave it. Uh, again, I chose the wrong path there. Don't mind me. I'm just an idiot. Okay. And let's do that. What was about to break? My wooden sword. So uh, <laughs> almost did it again. It's like, no, I need wood, damn it. Oh, God, no wood. Uh, all right, cool. Let's do that. And stone blade. Let's just trash that guy, and we're good. Cool. Moving up in the world, just a little bit. Very incrementally, which is how I like it, really. Uh, if I'm gonna play a game where there's, like, progress, I prefer the progress to be very incremental. So, whenever you look back and go, oh, man, I forgot that I used to suck so bad and I've been like this freaking god for so long. It's like it's much more subtle whenever uh, it's a very gradual progression and I appreciate that a lot in my games. So let's see. We're just going to chop down a whole bunch of trees. Deforestation is fine. Uh, let's go like that. And what's our time look like? Man, we are barely getting into this. Uh, oh well, now I guess we have like 12 minutes left. That's fine. Uh, let's try ice. I haven't seen the ice biome yet. So, or tundra, I suppose. So, fangbrush tundra. Got a bunch of guys sitting around doing things. We've got a lot of diamond axes for sale. Man, they're just rolling in it. Um, let's go ahead and first things first, kind of figure out our, uh, potion situation here. We got some good potions set up. No coal. Go figure. At this point, I'm not even, like, shocked or surprised or caring. All right, we're gonna go ahead and eat and poop in front of this guy's house. All right. And then we need to drink some of these potions, actually, now that I'm in notice. Let's just do that. I wasted a hit point, but that's fine. Um, I'm not gonna cry over spilled milk. Vital ingredient for making potions. Let's see, what do we have? We have some stone. Not really any ironite. Like, do I still have... Yeah, I have Gatherer and the Miner's Hat, and I have not gotten, like, any Ironite whatsoever. At least none none worth mentioning. Um, we have a little bit of bo Monster Bone and some Monster Hide. But once again, we don't have a really good way to, like, refine it or turn it into anything. So I guess we'll just move on after selling some of our stuff here. We're going to sell you. We're going to sell you. And then we'll just move on with our day. Okay. Next. All right, ground leaf tundra. Okay, these are fairly large, icy slimes, and I really need to be getting hit less. 
I still like the actual gravity of being hit in this game. It hasn't really become like a forefront of my psyche uh, just yet. So, but we're getting there. Let's see. We're just going to chop some extra wood in case we need it. Wooden axe is about to break. That's par for course, really. All right. We're going to kill this slime, hopefully. I don't like this ice ball business. That's totally unnecessary. So, must be the equivalent of the completely random and non sequitur uh, blocks in the first level. Just sort of environmental damage or hazards that are just sort of ambiently present. Okay, just barely did not get hit there. Okay, this guy is a knight. And, uh, sure, I want to know why they decided to actually leave the humanoids in uh, the tundra section. Alright, cool. Oh, and we've got a fairy as well. Hi, fairy. You're gonna fly and do ranged attacks. That's totally cool. I'm fine with that. Um, that was biting sarcasm if I ever heard it right. Expert level stuff. Alright, we're gonna go up and around here. Find a good safe spot to sit and then mine that. Okay, cool. Doing good. Good doing. That's a lot of spider webs that we don't need. And we got another stone. Okay, just gonna narrowly dodge things. And there's another fairy, and we failed to dodge at least one thing a second ago. I was about to Agna him, Ganondorf that thing back in his face and see if it worked, and uh, good thing I didn't, because it probably would have just killed me. Alright, cool. Ooh, let me go ahead and grab up all this stuff. Wow, man, they got some crazy drops from these guys. Got the bugs, which I can use to make magic gems, but I'm not particularly invested in the magic path on this. So, let's go ahead and just do this. Alright, moving right along, collecting stuff. Getting paid. And, uh, changing the world, basically. That's the, that's the progress, right? I think you're supposed to get laid in there somewhere, but, uh, you know. I am sitting here playing a pixelated platform adventure survival game. So, you know, not to deride the game whatsoever, it is a lot of fun. But uh, I just had to sort of make fun of myself for a second. If I don't make fun of myself, who will? Uh, don't answer that. Because I know you'd be more than happy to fill the role if you had to. Let's see. Okay, I died because of this Yeti. That Yeti had a lot of health. And uh, I failed to make any arrows in that entire run. Hmm. Maybe I'm bad. Noble Variant 2. Sweet. Let's go back to the menu. Well... Multiplayer? I have not tried multiplayer yet. I don't know how that works, or if it works, even. Let's see. Noble, what do we do? We have a, a, a stone axe and some magic. Let's go ahead and let's get some magic going. Or at least something akin to magic. And then we can also see... Oh, it's basically just like the peon, except different colors. Um, Yeah, let's go ahead and... How much time do we have left? We have about uh, seven minutes left. That's fine. What do we have? Defensive... Uh, 50% lose your... Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'll stick with that. That's cool. So, let's see how this works. I'm kind of curious. Um, I haven't done any, like, magic focus. And this guy actually has, like, shit for MP. So, that's real weird. I guess that's fine. Like, I'll, I'll figure it out, I suppose. Uh, let's go ahead and immediately make a sword so we're not burning through our, uh, actual, uh, durability of our axe there, our stone axe, which is actually pretty valuable there. Let's go ahead and, first of all, combine this and make two sword hilts because I'm a big dummy. Yep. All right. Let's do that. Fortunately, we have just enough wood to actually create a sword. And then we have a spare sword hilt just in case for a rainy day. All right. Cool. Decent start. Uh, we're just going to ignore him. We aren't going to ignore... Okay. We're, we're going to be very... Okay. Okay, so here we are getting started on our first attempt here with a noble. And uh, we're just going to see... Man, this map is actually disturbingly similar to the last one. Uh... Oh my god, I'm doing so bad. I need to stop. So here we are in the forest on our first attempt at actually running with a noble. 
What the hell, man? Okay. I guess whenever you do play again, it actually does, like, the exact same map with some very minor variances. Like, the same seed? Does that make sense? Sure. I believe it. Oh my god, just fucking die. Alright, I'm getting, I was getting real mad. That was, that was some genuine salt there. Alright, let's just go ahead and kill all this stuff. That's fine. Oh good, Gatherer has decided to work and it's working on the tree specific. So here we are on our first try on the Noble. Well, there goes that theory, because this is definitely very different. So, that's cool, I guess. Alright, we're going to grab a whole bunch of this stuff. And this looks like it'll probably be just enough to get us started with some weapons and gear. So, let's go ahead and set it up for a few different things. That's an axe handle. That's a pick handle. We're going to set that aside. We're going to do this. That's a sword hilt. We're going to set that to the side. We're going to do blade here, blade here, blade here, blade here. Cool. So let's just do this. This will simplify everything for us considerably. So there we go. We got a wooden sword and a wooden pick. All right. Outfitted. Done. Done in one, son. Just three trees had to die for this. Uh, let's go ahead and continue onwards here and try not to be big giant dummies. That would probably be the best possible scenario, is not being a big giant dummy. So, and I'm already 6'5", so I gotta be real careful. So, yeah, you know. Alright. And, yes, let's go ahead and pick this. And, yes. I'm, I'm a little bit relieved that I'm getting to the end of this uh, particular recording session, because, yeah, I think the tiredness is starting to get to me to the point that I'm uh, maybe making some pretty silly mistakes. I'm not saying that I'm bad at this game or anything, but I might be operating on slightly less than ideal situations here. So apparently you just get a crap ton more wood if you have a better axe. That's fine, I guess. Sure. All right. Do I have four spider webs yet? No, I don't. I need four spider webs so I can make a net. And then I need a net so I can catch bugs. And I need bugs so I can make gems so that I can turn around and turn those gems into magic scepters. That's the plan. I gotta remember how to chop wood. Apparently I'm under the impression that you use a pickaxe to chop wood. Which I'm sure is an effective method of chopping wood. However, maybe there's better ways out there. Let's just kill you. You're a slime. You die. That's how that rolls. Okay, we got plenty of stone to pick out here. I can't remember what my traits were either. Okay, we got a boar. Alright, we're gonna just play cool. Kill this guy. Get his delicious meats. And uh, move on. Oh, you know what? I should make a bone sword. That's actually a pretty cool idea. Me, I'm gonna look and see if I can make a bone sword yet. Oh, as soon as I'm done with this. Okay. No, not yet. I need four bones to make a bone sword. Once again, pretty standard material progression there. I'm sure you can figure it out. Let's see. And... This guy. This guy was waiting. He knew I couldn't see him through that block. Alright, cool. Alright, that's all done. We're moving on to this part. And awesome. Choppy choppy. Oh god. Okay. Almost got hit by a boar there. I just take a second and say I love this uh, hybrid pixel uh, shifting plates kind of animation style. I'm, I'm, I don't know if there's a good term for that, but you see how like the boar's head kind of moves where it's on a swivel, but it's still in pixel art. And uh, even the slime is kind of like warped and deformed for an animation as opposed to like, you know, animating individual frames or... You know, even doing it within the pixels themselves, right? Like, all the animations done through pixels. No, it's... There's these basic assets that are made with the pixels, and then they're manipulated to create animation and effects and things like that. I really, really, really love that. Um, maybe not always pixels. That's definitely one of those, like... I, I don't have a problem with pixels uh, or pixel graphics, but there's times where I'm kind of like... Yeah, maybe you could have done better. <laughs> maybe... 
maybe if you would uh, sit down and come up with a different art style, I, I would be just slightly more engaged by certain things. Because there's some games out there that are just absolutely stupendous, and they are not pixel games. I mean, that's... Pixeling, uh, pixeling your game is is a really cool way to do things. And don't get me wrong, I think it's an art that some people have just absolutely destroyed all faces on, and continue to do so in a very productive and uh, copacetic manner to the industry. However, I think sometimes where it's like, you know, if it wasn't pixels, what could it have been? How cool could this have looked? Like, just honestly, just really speaking from the heart, there, what could this have looked like if it wasn't? constrained to the pixel aesthetic so that's you know that's my two cents and let's go ahead and just kill this guy Whoa, there we are plus I also understand how hard it is to get a hold of an artist uh, I've had to do my own art for so long and it's not like there's any lack of people out there willing to do oh, I died I'm just gonna end the run on this note um, like, there's no... Oh, Orclops variant. We'll, we'll look at that really quick. Let's go menu. Uh, single player. Orclops. Okay. Close. There you go. Variant 2. And yeah, we got we got floppy ears versus the, the maybe... I, I don't know what that is. Horn? Horn with tiny ears versus floppy ears? I'm not sure what's going on there. Either way. Um, but yeah, just to tie up my thought there. But... Um, I honestly don't remember what I was talking about. Pixel art, something like that. I think everything's cool about this game otherwise. Um, but, dang, that's Eli Roth. That's kind of funny, maybe a little bit. Uh, yeah, so I lost my train of thought. Maybe I'll come back and finish it up later. Or I'll remember to look at it in the video or something and go, oh yeah, that thing. Or you can ask me in the comments and I can be like, oh yeah, no, this is what I meant to say. Either way, uh, if you've enjoyed this video and want to see more, please consider like, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Have fun.